Um, I'm delivering a session on mindset, which comes from um, a psychologist called Professor Carol Dweck, who's written a book called Mindset, The New Psychology of Success. Um, and what she became interested in was how people respond to failure, in particular with work she was doing with, with children. It basically said that people with a fixed mindset belief um, believe that their abilities and talents um, are born and that potential can be measured. Whereas those with more of a growth mindset belief um, would say that abilities and talents can change and grow through application and effort and experience. Um, and these different beliefs would lead to different behaviours in people and we can look at its relevance to sport in particular. Um, and that fixed mindseted beliefs, um, people would avoid challenges um, and give up when they face setbacks. Um, they would ignore negative feedback and avoid situations where they may fail and would also um, not really see the value of effort. Whereas people with a growth mindset would um, embrace challenges, they would persist um, in the face of setbacks, so that's all about resilience, um, and they'd learn from criticism and failure, and see effort um, as a path to mastery. So this would lead to people with a fixed mindset generally underachieving, and those with growth mindsets reaching um, higher levels of achievement to sort of be the very best that they can be. Um, and in the workshop we talk with coaches about how they can develop an environment and foster, um, create an environment to foster the growth mindset um, by using language, um, praise and making it safe for people to make mistakes. I think implicit in what, what I'm trying to get across and a key message I think for psychology in sport is about resilience and developing resilience um, and this is something that the growth mindset and that approach can um, really develop in our elite athletes and, and in any athlete actually um, and I think coaches have a key role in developing a growth mindset and acknowledging that uh, fixed mindsets can change and people can change if they're aware and they can hear their fixed mindset voice. Um, it's been quite inspirational and I think to me what's really come across is, um, is the collaboration between um, presenters, coaches um, from a wide range of sports, um, people in education, all wanting to learn from each other um, and the range of expertise that there is locally in Guernsey and also the progress I think that's been made in moving elite, elite sport forwards on the island.